This is problem number four for section 3.3. And this problem it says find y prime by applying the product rule and part B, multiplying the factors to produce a sum of simpler terms to differentiate. So essentially what they're gonna do is we're gonna introduce this, this new rule, the product rule. And uh, the reason we use the product rule is because we have two essential polynomials being multiplied times each other, just two functions being multiplied times each other. So there's a rule for that so that we can actually um, find the uh, derivative without having to distribute out all these, all these terms. But they're going to have us compare it to if we distribute out all the terms and just take the derivative that way. So let's start by doing the product rule to start. So the product rule the product rule is u prime v plus v prime u. And the good part about the product rule is because of this addition, it doesn't matter how you really write this. So there's other versions of this where they write maybe uv prime plus uh, v u prime or so on and so forth. It's still the same idea. So the way I like to set this up if I'm going to use the product rule is I'll say u is the first function. So this is u. So we have 7 minus x squared. v is the second uh, function. So I'm going to write u, then I'll write u prime, then v, which is x cubed minus 2x plus 3, and then v prime, which is this derivative. Let's take the derivative of 7 minus x squared. Well, the derivative of constant, that cancels. So we end up with negative, well, this would be like negative 1 times 2x to the We'll subtract 1, that'd be x to the first. So this is just really negative 2x. Derivative here, bring the power to the or bring the power to the front. So that's 3x subtract 1 squared. Derivative of this, bring the 1 to the front. So we just end up with negative 2, so minus 2. And then this would be x to the 0, so it's just minus 2. And the derivative of a constant cancels. So we end up with a u prime being negative 2x. I'm just going to underline that, and v prime being 3x squared minus 2. Now we just follow the product rule here. So we start with u prime, which is negative 2x. We multiply it times v, which is the original x cubed, minus 2x plus 3. And we're going to add it with v prime, which is 3x squared minus 2. And we're going to multiply that times u, which is 7 minus x squared. So then we distribute here, and we end up with negative 2x to the fourth plus 4x squared minus 6x. Then we distribute here, and that's going to be uh, plus 21x squared. We end up with 3x squared times negative 3x, or negative x squared, and that's negative 3x to the fourth. Negative 2 times 7 is negative 14. I'm running out of a little room here, so I'm going to take a negative 2 then times negative uh, 2 or negative x squared, and that's positive 2x squared. So let's combine some terms together. I'm just going to come down here so I have room. Let's combine all the x squared terms. We get, well, we'll start with the x to the fourth term. That's negative 5x to the fourth. Highest power first. So we'll just kind of cross those out lightly. Then we have 21x squared and 2x squared. That's 23x squared. And the 4 is going to be 27x squared. And then we combine, well, we got negative 6x, that's the only thing there. And then we have minus 14. So this is the uh, product rule version of our derivative. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to find, I'm going to take these two. So this is our derivative, right? We're using the product rule. 
Now I'm going to just go through, I'm going to distribute the original function. So let's go ahead and start with the original function. I'm going to distribute this, and then I'll take the derivative of this original function and see if it's the same as the product rule. So I end up with 7 times x cubed is 7x cubed. 7 times negative 2x is negative 14x. 7 times 3 is 21. Negative x squared times x cubed is negative x to the fifth. And then we have negative x squared times negative 2x. Uh, which will be negative x squared times negative 2x. That'd be positive 2x cubed. Negative x squared times 3 is minus 3x squared. Can we combine anything together here? We can combine the x cubes. So we end up with negative x to the fifth plus 2x cubed and 7x cubed is 9x cubed. We end up with minus 3x squared and then minus 14x plus 21. Let's take the derivative now. So dy over dx. And I should have wrote that up here. This, is, this should have been dy over dx. So this is dy over dx. This is going to equal negative 5. Bring the power to the front. x to the subtract 1 fourth plus 3 to the front. We have 3 times 9x squared. Bring the 2 to the front. That's minus 3 times 2x. We subtract 1 from it minus, this is just 14, combine like terms, you end up with the negative 5, sorry, simplify, not combine like terms, plus 27x squared minus 6x minus 14. And lo and behold, we get the exact same derivative that we had when we did the product rule. So you can see this is kind of a proof that the product rule works.